Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to see how we can patch our Windows Server through PowerShell. Also, we will check the status of the last updates on the other computers in our network through the PowerShell script. So let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and if we go and check for the Windows update, you can see we have a security update for Microsoft Defender Antivirus. We will try to install this update through the PowerShell. So let's go to the PowerShell and I will run it as an administrator. And if we check this command get Windows update, you will see the error because the module is not installed. So we have to install the module first. So we will run this command let install module name ps windows update. So let me run this command. You get the NuGet provider is required to continue. So I will type yes and it is installed. It says untrusted repository. Are you sure you want to install the module from ps gallery? I will say yes and we will install the module. So the module is installed now. If I try to run this commandlet again, get windows update. You can see now it's showing us this update is available. KB ending 7602. Let me go to the update. You can see the update 7602. So this is the same update we are getting here. So let me close this and let's try to install this update. In order to install, we have to run this commandlet. Get windows update, accept all, install and auto reboot if reboot is required. So let's try to run this commandlet. Now you can see it is running. It is accepted, downloaded and right now it is installing and it is installed. So the update has been installed. And if we go and check with this get command module PS Windows update, you have all this commandlet available with PS Windows update. So we can run this commandlet. So let's try to run few of them. Let me clear the screen first. Let's try to check with the Windows update history. And you can see this is showing us the update history of our computer. So let's try to run the another command that is windows installer status. If we see this, you can see the computer name and the BZ is false. Right now there is no pending installation. I have a script here and you can see the computer name. I have these computer on my network and we will try to check the last update on this computer. So let me copy this script and we will try to run it on the PowerShell ISC. So these are the computer. Let's try to run this script. You can see the last update. Here it is showing the last update date and time for these computers. This way you can check the update on the other computer as well. So right now it is showing it as a pending. So let's try to reboot the computer. The computer has been rebooted and let's go and check with the windows update. You can see you are up to date. The update has been successfully installed on our computer. And for the reboot status, you can check with this command let get w reboot status. You can see it's showing false because we have already rebooted our computer. So this way you can update your computer through the PowerShell. I hope the video was useful. Let's meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.